Hi there, it's John. I'm your roving realtor. We are living large in Lawrence. This is 4521 Nicholas Drive. This is so nice. Look at this. Just walking through the front yard is like walking through a magical fairyland. And that's the kind of house you need to live in. 4521 Nicholas is listed with McGrew Real Estate with Agent Janet B. That's Fine, Janet B. Her contact information is listed up above. This house has four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and is 5,131 square feet. It was built in 1998. It's located in a really lovely part of the city. It has a golf course location with a fantastic panoramic view overlooking Jayhawk Club Hole and Green number five which is, as we all know, the best hole of all the holes. And more importantly, it's far away from the riffraff that you find over there on Inverness Drive. Let's go inside and have a look. If the tiny angel finds you worthy of entering, you will immediately come upon the sock dancing room, in which you can slide around in your socks all day long. But we're going to jump to the most fabulous room in the house right away. That's this room, the existential torture room, where you can stare out upon the bleakness of the golf course and contemplate exactly what's gone wrong with the world. Imagine the philosophers that could spring forth from your family just from the access to this one room. Sometimes when you stare out into the void, the void stares back at you. Existentialism. We move on to the staring room, where you sit on the furniture and you stare at one another. You'll find that staring is a common theme throughout all the rooms of this house. Staring, no talking. Amateurs might think that this next room is the dining room, but I can tell you as an experienced agent, that couldn't be farther from the truth. This is actually a very complicated prison room for containing criminals and children. Maybe you're a person that likes bathrooms. Well, this house has them. One for every kind of person. Maybe you like TV bathroom. Maybe you like the bathroom where they put a plant in instead of a toilet and also has glass doors. Or maybe you like the optical illusion bathroom where that sink is actually three miles away. What a great house for entertaining. No pesky walls between the kitchen and the living room mean that you never have to be separated for an instant from your new best friends slash neighbors, Buffy and Rufus Peterson, who will seem charming at first, but every time they come over, you notice some little thing that annoys you until you just can't stand it any longer, but it's too late because your kids are already best friends. This house also comes equipped with a miniature Catholic church just off the living room. Not Catholic? No problem. Father Seamus McGillicuddy lives at your house and doesn't mind at all. Here's the baptismal font, which will come into play more often than you think. And uh, here's where Father Seamus lives. It's all he needs. Don't worry about anything better. He doesn't mind curling up at the foot of your bed. No, no trouble at all. No trouble at all. That's right, the master bedroom is big enough that you can have a Catholic priest live with you and it will be no trouble. Just don't let him know that these other bedrooms exist because then he'll move in there and he will never ever leave if he has his own space. Other rooms in this house include the bathroom with an ottoman that's the size of a living room, the walk-in closet for shoes that is the size of a living room, the office that is zoned for office use only over in that corner. A backup dishes washing station in case your primary dishes washing station fails. A place for one KU football player to live under the stairs. And the fabulous basement R room where Raquel and Rashad, the renowned raconteurs, regale you with raucous retellings of really ribald rafting retreats. And Rahalia and Rick do some other R stuff. I don't know, I've never been invited to the R room. I'm sure it's really rad. Well, who knew the inside was like a magical fairyland as well? Thank you so much for going on that tour with me. And come on back again next time, and let's tour some more houses together, shall we?